Okay, here we go with the first part of chapter 10. Harold Unmasked. The sun was finally down. Svein's turn on the executioner, Rota, was over. That had been an insufferably long waste of time, watching kobold after kobold scurry over the mudflats of the hunting grounds, their shadows lengthening as the sky grew imperceptibly more scarlet. It was pitiful to observe the scuffles between the kobolds and small groups of grey fighters. This kind of fighting was so extraordinarily limited, the players across from him had no idea of the real depths of the game. For a while, Svein had turned his thoughts to his own goal, solving the Epicus Ultima quest. In all his research, Svein had never discovered the origin of the term, but he was convinced that it referred to something real. Several NPCs he had personally spoken to had indicated that Epic contained this ultimate quest, a quest to end all quests. Many thought it to be impossible to solve, but Svein felt that he was very close to a breakthrough. The threads that led to this goal were many and complex, but considering them simply increased Svein's frustration at having to waste time on this execu execution shift. He could be doing something so much more productive. A tap on his shoulder. Immediately, Svein began to unclip, rubbing the soreness from his ears. Anything? asked Becca. Just hour after hour of people collecting pennies from kobolds. Becca sighed unhappily. I feel sorry for them. Sometimes I just want to go over and make someone's day by giving them a ruby or something. She saw the stern look on Svein's face. I know. I'm just saying. I empathise. All at once, Svein smiled hoping it did not look forced, and reached up to touch her cheek. I know you do, and that is a most admirable quality in you. Pausing only to get a plate of food from the canteen, Svein hurried to his office, avoiding contact with anyone. At last, with the door locked, he could relax and concentrate on his project. Covering three of the four walls of his office were tidily arranged spines of books and files. From floor to ceiling, wide shelves held journals, reports, essays, magazines, electronic data and books. The fourth wall was mostly taken up with an enormous pin board. As he sat at his desk eating, Svein contemplated the board. Coloured pins held pieces of paper to a map of the main game world. Threads of various kinds, including silver and gold ones, ran around the pins, creating a colourful net over the world. The Epicus Ultima, Svein had realised, could be sold by anyone, each with their own starting point. In his own case, he had made progress on several fronts, only to reach dead ends at certain stages. Pushing his plate aside, Svein got up and examined the board again. His final entry read simply, Find the Ethereal Tower of Nightmare. The objective was simple enough. The Earl of Snowpeak had asked him to release from the tower the soul of his kidnapped daughter. Her body lay in suspended animation in Snowpeak Castle. No doubt the essence of the girl was held in captivity by some magic device or creature. But the really interesting aspect of this quest was his only other reference to the tower, which described it as containing the ultimate lock. What would happen if he completed the Epicus Ultima had only been hinted at by the NPCs, but he would most likely gain some extraordinarily powerful magic item or weapon. What interested Svein, though, was not the prize, but the challenge. By solving the Epicus Ultima, Svein would instantly become the most famous player ever. However, although he now had his most promising lead ever, this reference to the Ethereal Tower, he had still come up against a very stubborn dead end. Nobody knew where this Ethereal Tower was to be found. The Earl of Snowpeak had said only that priests had performed their most powerful auguries, and all they could see of his daughter's soul was that it had been taken to a place called the Ethereal Tower of Nightmare, where she lay dreaming near the world's end. No spell had been able to help, nor the thousands of NPCs whom Svein had asked. Every librarian in the world had been alerted to the problem and monitored their localities for news of the tower, knowing that Svein would reward information with resources or promotions. Throughout his tenure as librarian, Svein had always been careful to keep the local librarians as well looked after as he could despite opposition from other members of the committee. If anyone could complete the Epicus Ultima, surely it was Svein, with his access to a thousand sources of information. 
The problem was that players were so unadventurous these days that only a feeble trickle of new information was arriving from the provincial libraries. Svein might achieve better results by encouraging the university students to look for the tower, but he had to tread a fine line. Giving information away was dangerous, especially if some precocious student somehow got a lucky break and ended up ahead of him. A timid knock on the door disturbed him. What? Svein shouted angrily. Sorry to disturb you, sir, came the voice of a student. A special session of the committee has been called and is convening now. Very well. Curiosity overcame his annoyance. There must be a new development. Perhaps the executioner had found its target and that business could be laid to rest. So there we go. Part two on Monday. Bye.